The commissioning of this new brewing facility marks a new beginning for Karoche breweries. Karoche is set to increase its production volumes more than tenfold from the current 10 million litres of beer to 110 million litres annually, which is equivalent to about 600,000 beer bottles a day. A major leap for a company that is gunning for a 20% share of the local beer market, which has been dominated by the Diageo on the East African Breweries Limited. Now, about 18 years ago, the Karanjis came here, saw an opportunity and seized it. This brand new multi-billion shillings facility behind me is just a testament of their determination to scale their business even to greater heights. This is so true. To become multinationals, we must first be multilocal. The fact is even multinationals were first multilocals in their countries of origin. We must excel here at home. We must support what is our own. Buying Kenyan is building Kenya. Karoche's chief executive, however, says that quest will not be attainable without the entrenchment of fair play in Kenya's business environment. A level playing ground, free and fair competition is the right for every Kenyan who wants to put their vision, their dreams, their talent into reality. This is in light of the prolification of illicit alcoholic drinks that have resulted in the death of scores of people. But the government says it will tighten the importation of methanol, which has been blamed for fueling the production of illicit liquor. And now for the first time, methanol has been added to the list of items that are pre-inspected before they enter Kenya. So that denaturing process is going to be checked and we hope it will go a long way. Going forward, the family-owned Keroche Breweries plans to transform into a publicly-owned company by 2020. That's what we are hoping that the Kenyans, and we believe they will support us, we will take it to the Nairobi Stock Exchange so that Kenyans now can own so this. So 2020? Yes, 2020. Look the date, look the time. You'll see it there. <laughs> Kiroche's newly commissioned plant was put up at a cost of 5.5 billion shillings, with 5 billion shillings having been borrowed from Barclays Bank of Kenya. Patrick Igunza, The Big Question.